everybody. It's my turn this week to read our weekday story and I've chosen this one. It's called The Magpie's Tale, Jesus and Zacchaeus and it's by Nick Butterworth and Mick Inkpen. Right, let's begin, shall we? Hello, I'm a magpie. I live in this sycamore tree. You see the gold ring I'm holding in my beak? I found it. Well, I pinched it, really. I used to have lots of stolen things in this nest. Not anymore. Let me tell you the story. It all began yesterday afternoon. It's a hot day and I'm sitting out of the sun guarding my stolen treasure. Suddenly, I hear the sound of people laughing. Down below, a large crowd is gathering. That's odd. Usually nothing happens around here in the middle of the afternoon. The people have lined up along the street. They seem to be waiting for somebody. I wonder who it is. He must be important. Look, even Zacchaeus has come out to see. He's the short fat man who lives in the big house on the corner. Nobody likes him very much. He collects the taxes. They say he's a cheat. Zacchaeus is too short to see over the crowd. He's trying to push his way to the front, but he's too fat to squeeze through and the people won't let him pass. They're pretending not to notice him at all. Nobody likes Zacchaeus. Now he's coming over to my tree. He's climbing up to get a better view but his short legs won't reach the branches. He's puffing and panting and going red in the face. Quickly, the important man will be here soon. Go on, Zacchaeus, you can do it. Just in time, Zacchaeus scrambles into the, into the tree. The crowd start to cheer and everybody presses forward. Hooray! Here comes Jesus. I can just see his face through the leaves. But who is Jesus? He doesn't look important at all. Not like a king or a general. By the look of him, he's not even rich. Just an ordinary man. Jesus walks up to my tree, stops and looks up through the branches. Perhaps he has spotted my treasure, poking out, sparkling in the sun. Does he know I stole it? What does he want? Zacchaeus! Come down, says Jesus with a laugh. I'd like to stay at your house today. Zacchaeus nearly falls off his branch. What a surprise! Why would anyone want to stay with Zacchaeus? Nobody likes Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus climbs down and Jesus says hello. It's very strange. He speaks to Zacchaeus like an old friend. The crowd don't like it at all. Why choose Zacchaeus? He's a cheat and a thief, says one woman. Now Zacchaeus 
speaks out loud for everyone to hear. I'll give half of everything I own away, he says, and everyone I've cheated, I'll pay back four times over. The people are amazed. What has happened to Zacchaeus? He's like a different man. Since then, I've taken back everything I stole. The things from my nest must have been turning up all over town. This golden ring is all that's left. I pinched it from the big house on the corner. Zacchaeus left it on the windowsill. He'll be pleased to get it back, I think. I hope you enjoyed that story, a story that reminds us what Jesus is like, that there isn't anyone that he doesn't want to be friends with and know, that there is nobody that can't know God and be loved by him. Shall we just pray then? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this story. Thank you that you love everybody that there is nobody, whether they've made bad or good choices, who can't be welcomed in to being friends with you. Help us to remember that, Lord Jesus, for ourselves and for our friends. Help us to be like you in befriending those people that others don't. Help us to remember that you love and made everybody. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs>